Hey guys, Casey here from StartScreenPrintingNow.com and today I'm taking a look at the DIY print shop from Ryanet. It's a uh, all-in-one screen printing kit. It has a press and everything you need to get started in screen printing. Or so they say, I will tell you what you'll need to bring to the table that they can't really fit all in a kit. But, um, you know, some people, when they're first starting out, you might have a get a semi-pro kit. It might cost you $1,200, $2,000, and it'll be like a big stand-up, uh, maybe a four-color press with a one station. Um, this one's pretty entry-level. It only costs a couple hundred bucks, and um, I'm starting really entry-level so that I can move up and um, really get like every level of um, I guess professionalism um, but we're gonna take a look at this DIY print shop just unbox it today after a few weeks of using it I'll give a full review and we're also gonna make sure that it's easy and or fun Right out of the box we have a 10 inch squeegee, nice wooden handle, a rubber blade, seems like pretty good quality. Some kits just give you a hard plastic squeegee. This one is pretty professional looking. Look how new that blade looks. I don't think I've ever held a brand new squeegee. I've never seen one that's not completely destroyed or just worn out. Up next we got a scoop coater for coating screens with emulsion. Looks pretty good. I believe it's made out of plastic. We have a roll of tape. I believe this is for sealing up the edges of your screen so you don't get ink up all in the nooks and crannies of your screen. Here's some coarse sponges. They're for scrubbing the emulsion off when you're reclaiming your screen. Nice. Here's an 8 ounce tub of water based ink. And it's black, which is the best color called pitch black it's so black this astronaut can't even see where he's flying next we have a bottle of screen degreaser you can spray this stuff on your screen to get it prepared for emulsion Cleans off any dirt or dust particles or nacho cheese from your screen. So you start with a nice clean surface to apply emulsion to. You can use one of these sponges to really get it into the mesh. In this bottle that looks almost exactly like the other one, we have our emulsion stripper. And it's eco-friendly. That means there aren't harsh chemicals in this or the, the degreaser either, so you won't totally ruin your house when you're printing at home. You'll use this whenever you want to start over with your screen and reclaim it. Some spray nozzles for the degreaser and emulsion, and emulsion stripper bottles. Alright, here we have a yellow light bulb. You'll need to have this light on and only this light for times when you need a light safe environment. Like when you're using your light sensitive emulsion. If you don't use this bulb, your emulsion will get set prematurely before you can burn your screens. And you'll have to reclaim them and then recoat them all over again. Next, we have some adhesive, some temporary glue so you can make your palette sticky. That way, whatever you're printing on won't move around or shift, or shift around when you're printing. Here are some gloves. I assume you can perform surgery with them. Now, here's your emulsion for coating your screen. It comes with this little jar of Diazo. You mix it in and it makes your emulsion sensitive to light. Some important instructions here. Someone ate a popsicle and threw their trash in my box. And here's the light bulb you'll use to burn your designs onto your screens. It's a super bright CFL. Compact fluorescent 
You'll pop this into a lamp and hold it over your screen and let it do its thing. Here's the big boy. Here's the screen that comes with the kit. The mesh is mounted to a wooden frame. And I think that's the mesh count. I think it's 156. It's 16 by 20 inches. Here's the palette, or you can call it a platen, either one. Nice and solid there. Of course, you can't print anything without the press itself. This is a nice sturdy metal print arm or print head. It has all the hardware you need to mount it to something like a table. You clamp your screen to it and just go to town printing. This is just a one color kit, so you just get the one print head. Then we have this awesome full color manual. It has awesome pictures and diagrams and shows you how to prep everything and start printing. It shows you every stage and every step of the way. Glossary and terms in the back. Now, this manual is actually not screen printed, which honestly feels like a missed opportunity. Kind of a sham. A pack of Palon so you can run some test prints. Some film transparencies to print your artwork onto. These will go on your screen and help you burn your art onto your screen. Some cards for scooping ink around, or you can scrape emulsion back into the bucket. And finally, the DVD manual. I highly recommend watching this because they show you from start to finish how to set up your kit and print some stuff. If you hate reading, watch this instead. So, as you can see, the kit comes with pretty much everything you would possibly need to screen print at home. Uh, you will need to get a few things. Uh, one, I got these clamp lights from Home Depot. This is for the yellow light that'll create like a emulsion safe, UV safe environment for um, burning screens. You also need uh, one for that heavy duty UV light that'll burn your screens. You'll also need a, a tabletop that you can mount this print arm to, um, something that you don't mind drilling holes in that will pretty much serve as your print press. Um, you'll also need um, an inkjet printer, something that can uh, print your artwork and color transparency, uh, color separations on these transparencies. <clears throat> oh, another thing, even though these um, chemicals are eco-friendly and safe to use in your own sink in your kitchen, um, it won't ruin your plumbing or anything like that. It's still a good idea to maybe go to Home Depot and grab a, a utility sink, something that you can put in your garage, and uh, you know something you don't mind getting dirty, uh, covered in chemicals, um, something like that. You know, because it could be messy doing it in your own kitchen. So I suggest moving it out to the garage. So like I said, there are a few extra costs to in addition to the kit. It's something, some things that you might already have on hand, some, th some things you can get used or uh, find. But overall, it's a pretty complete kit. And uh, I'll give a full review in the coming weeks uh, as I use the, this print press and really get to know it. If you liked this video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button or give this video a like. And if you want to follow along and learn how to build a print shop in your garage with me, go to startscreenprintingnow.com. I also have a DIY screen print kit coupon for my readers. If you go to screenprinting.com and use the coupon code STARTNOW in all caps, you'll get a discount on these starter kits or anything else you buy from Ryanet over there. Bye.